Time now to talk politics. I am joined by Representative Joe Jett, Republican from Success, Arkansas, and Representative George McGill, Democrat from Fort Smith. Thank you both for being here. Appreciate it. Good to be here. Yeah. Uh, you, we're going to talk uh, about some things that happened this last week of the legislation, uh, legislative session here. I want to start first with the fact that I heard there was a flu bug that was going around, and apparently about three-fourths of the legislature caught gun fever, Joe. Is this, is this true uh, uh, up there? Uh, 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 <laughs> Representative Charlie Collins described this fix bill to the guns on college campuses and beyond as um, transformative, groundbreaking, landmark legislation. Is he correct about that? You know, we, we deal with gun legislation every time I've been down here, so this is nothing new to us. You voted for the bill. Yeah. You voted for it. You for it, voted for the fix, but you voted I, I, against the original bill. I there. did. I did. Um, do you believe that this is something transformative? When Charlie speaks, he, <laughs> he thinks it's transformative, uh, but uh, it, it's something we expected. It's something we expected. Some some gun legislation, and. Uh, Considering what we had, I was pleased with the fix. Let me put it that way. Yeah. Do you think that it got to the place where it needed to get, Joe? I think we're probably going to come back and maybe take a look at it uh, probably next session. I don't think it's ever going to be done. Uh, but I voted for both of them coming out, and uh, I think reflecting it's your constituents or your personal. Yeah. Well, no, well, both. Mm -hmm. Both my constituents are back home are majority overwhelmingly Second Amendment pro Second Amendment folks. So, just voted my constituents. What was driving your decision? Um, you know, uh, fortunately, a lot of my constituents don't don't push me very hard. They tend to let me vote uh, the way I feel, and uh, I just thought it was a better bill than the one than the option we had on the table. So, yeah. address this. Um, I mean, th there's always just a lot of um, kind of action out there on social media and mm -hmm. people speculating, and you can read some things pretty easily. General consensus is that whatever the NRA says, the legislature is going to obviously pay very close attention mm -hmm. to, and it matters. Mm -hmm. Is are, are are your colleagues afraid of the NRA, or does that score from an NRA mean that much to them that they will they will vote even if they don't personally maybe think that the the bill is as good as it could be? Yeah, you know, I think the NRA certainly carries a lot of weight, uh, especially here in Arkansas in campaign season, but. The vote came out yesterday was, uh, you know, I don't know where the, I don't think the NRA was just really super happy with it, and it still got, what, 77 votes? Right. So You it, surprised the number was that high? <laughs> no, I'm not. I, th I think at the end of the day, uh, that group of legislators out there tend to, tend to try to, their best to get it right, and sometimes it causes a little heartburn. <laughs> but uh, they, they man up and woman up uh, and, and tend to get it right. Let's talk about uh, you guys wrapping up the budget here, which is really your primary focus mm -hmm. for coming to mm -hmm. uh, Little Rock mm -hmm. and holding a legislative session. February, January revenue concerns are uh, mm -hmm. there. March, there's some speculation that it mm -hmm. may not be too great either. Mm -hmm. Did you guys cut too many taxes, George, or did you not cut spending enough? You know, at some point, I think uh, we need to realize that we're going to have to invest some and, and not necessarily cut every time so uh, but I'm hopeful that uh, we won't have to change anything in the budget yeah to cut too many taxes mr. revenue and tax chairman no I think uh, you know the numbers are gonna be short this come this month uh, we all expecting it but uh, I think when we come June 30th I think the numbers coming back when I'm here from Richard, Richard Wilson and BLR and the staff they're saying don't panic and uh, the numbers be coming back all so right. we're just um, I think we're going to be where we need to be. Calm, cool, and collected. All go. right, we're going to take a commercial break, but then come back and talk about the best and the, not necessarily the worst, but the regrettable parts of this okay. legislative session. Uh, I'm with Joe Jett and George McGill. I'm Roby Brock. Stick around. We're back after the break. Each day, the promise of our nation begins again. Arkansas and America moving forward. I help make that promise a reality. It's not for everyone, but people everywhere depend on us. Trucking delivers or everything stops. And that's what drives me. Welcome back to Talk Business and Politics. I'm Roby Brock. I'm joined by Representatives Joe Jett and George McGill. All right, let's talk about uh, 
this session, you guys have dealt with, gosh, thousands mm. of bills, mm. hundreds have been signed mm. into law. I wanna, I wanna end on a good note, so I wanna save the best moments of the legislative session for the second half of my questioning here. What were maybe some of the more regrettable or less desirable aspects of uh, the legislative session? Maybe something that you wish you hadn't had to deal with this session, Joe? I'm not, you know, I typically tend to stay in the revenue tax, budget world, and it's just all the social issues and all the other stuff that goes along with it. If I could just, just hunker down and stay um, in budget, it'd make my world be a lot easier, so. <laughs> all right, what about you, you George? Know, I, I agree. The, the social issues um, tend to cause a little heartburn every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. All right, best moment of the legislative session. What was it for, what has it been for you? Best bill, best moment, best circumstance? You know, it's, it's, it's strange. Uh, SB 519. Uh, it's one of those moments where you have to say something and remind people what SB 519 was. 519 was the separation of Robert E. Lee Day from MLK right. Day and at that moment I sensed some tension in the chamber uh, and I know all, we're all friends and colleagues and I sensed something about to happen that it was not uh, not us and so I was led to say something, and again, it's the worst moment, and it turns out to be the best for yeah. me. All right, what was your best moment this well, you know, You know, my, my good buddy, he, he stole my line, you know, because that's what I was actually gonna say. Well, he delivered the speech, he gets to take well, credit I, for it. I'm telling you, man, I, I looked around the chamber when that was going on, when George went down to the well, and he delivered that. And every so often, you, you get to see somebody catch lightning in a bottle and George literally caught lightning in the bottle. I was looking around the room, I had Representative Chris Ritchie standing beside me, and I punched him, I said, look around the room, nobody's talking, nobody's moving, staff is still. And George, I'm not gonna say George, it was a speech, but it was more like just, a, and no offense George, but it's like a, uh, George is a Southern gentleman, every sense of the word, it was just like a, some, a, an older, wiser man had brought something that you really wanted to listen to and pay attention to and everybody just got uh, really, really uh, hunkered down, and it was a very special moment, very special moment. In All right, I'm glad that you both agree that that was the best yeah. moment of the session, because yeah. if you hadn't brought it up, I was gonna tell you you're wrong, because that was the defining and best moment mm -hmm. of the legislative mm -hmm. session there, and they will be talking about that speech for years. George mm -hmm. McGill, congratulations mm -hmm. on that. Thank you. Let's hope they're not talking about your budgeting for years. <laughs> this is over, Joe Jett. Uh, I understand. All right. I understand. Representatives George McGill, Joe Jett, thank mm -hmm. you so much for being appreciate here. Appreciate you, you very appreciate much. It. Thanks for coming on in. Yes, All right. And thank you for tuning in to this week's program. I'm Roby Brock. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.